So these are a couple of pieces I took off of the RV. And basically what this amounts to are the springs on one side of the, the steering stabilization system that somebody had installed on my RV. I think this is from a company called Safe Steer. And I don't want to disparage the company uh, because my experience may be unique. But I never liked the way my RV handled. And, uh... So this is a picture of the system installed on somebody's vehicle. Mine was a little older version, I think. And, um, you know, they're, they're custom designed to fit various vehicles. And I've got the Spartan chassis on my 2002 Newmar. So mine doesn't look quite exactly like this, but it's pretty close. Anyway, uh, as you can see, there's springs that go in front of the uh, axle hub, the spindle, and then behind it. And what it really is doing, it's preloading. It's, it's providing tension on the front wheel so that if it turns, it expands the spring on one side of it and contracts it on the other and naturally pulls the wheel back to the center. So you could think of it as sort of a self-centering device. Um, you know, it's selfish, <laughs> self-centered. Anyway, uh, there's another one of these on the other side. So they're, they're installed in pairs on each side of the uh, front axle. The thing I didn't like about the way my RV drove was that I always felt like I didn't have full connection of the steering. It felt like the steering was loose to me. I didn't have a good feel between the steering wheel and the front wheels. And I took it and had it aligned in Yuma, Arizona at a company that I think is really good down there. Um, I think it's called Custom Chassis. And the guy told me, he said, your alignment's fine. And he said that that's really just the way RVs drive. You're just going to have to get used to it. Well, I'd been a truck driver for a couple of years, a few years back in between uh, gigs, so to speak. I kind of took a break from being a technological nerd and hit the road. And so I know what a big vehicle feels like driving. And the semi that I drove, my Kenworth KW700, was incredibly comfortable and had great feeling between the steering wheels and the steering wheel so that uh, you know I, I never felt like I didn't have a direct connection to the that vehicle and I put 470,000 miles on the damn thing so I was really not happy with this um, but I did accept that explanation I understand RVs are lightweight they're big it's like driving a billboard in the wind uh, but, but that's to be expected so, anyway, it had been about a year since we had the RV, and I'd gotten pretty used to it, um, but I still wasn't thrilled with it. Like, when I went th through road construction where the road narrows down, I could hardly take my eyes off the road, and driving this thing was a, you know, basically two-handed deal. You couldn't drive with one hand, and, uh, you know, normally you can look in the mirrors and glance around even though you're going through some narrow thing, but in this case, case with our RV and the lack of feel in the steering I you know it just was uncomfortable so we were coming out of Iowa and I made a fairly sharp left turn as we left the campground and I heard sort of a rubbing sound and had never heard that before but when I straightened the wheels out everything was fine and then a little while later I had to make a relatively sharp left hand turn and again I'm hearing a rubbing sound on my side of the RV on the on the uh, front wheel. So we stopped and looked and there was a little piece hanging down underneath with a spring on it. And I had seen this underneath there before and I thought it was part of the Spartan chassis. But it turns out that this is an add-on from the SteerSafe company that somebody didn't like the way the RV drove apparently and added this product to supposedly improve it. So uh, I had a, I stopped at Love's and had the guy uh, look at it at the tire shop 
and he explained to me what it, what what the device was. He'd seen them before. He wouldn't be able to get the part uh, easily for me, and their rules wouldn't allow him to just remove it for me because it's already on there. But he suggested a shop that would do it right there in town. I forget the town we were in, uh, a small town in Iowa. So I went to a, a shop there, and the guy charged me 10 bucks to take that thing off, which I thought was incredible because you can't hardly get anything done for 10 bucks nowadays. <laughs> I kicked in some extra for their beer fund. But immediately, the RV felt better driving down the road. So the first chance I got, I took the other side off. And those are the springs that I pictured there on the on the picnic table. And then I had to drive to Milwaukee. And the RV feels fantastic. I have the exact feel I would expect between my steering wheel and the steering tires, the steers, the front wheels. So um, here's what I think is going on and why this was so uncomfortable for me the because these rvs have power steering when you start to turn uh, the hydraulics kick in and turn the wheels for you with the springs on there what i believe was happening was that the hydraulic pressure wasn't enough to begin to turn the wheels until you turn the steering wheel just a little bit further which to me translated into loose steering and lack of the feel I expected between the steering wheel and the tires. And removing these springs, and then I look back at some other handling issues that I didn't like about it, uh, removing these springs immediately, immediately, instantaneously cleared that up. Um, and I'm thinking, God, I drove 20,000 miles last year with this uncomfortable feeling that uh, I didn't need. You know, I actually looked forward to days when the wind was blowing because because keeping tension on the steering wheel actually made it feel like I had more control. When it wasn't windy, it felt like the thing was wanting to wander, even though it really wasn't wasn't wandering. I just couldn't feel where I was with that steering wheel situation. So I'm sure other people have had results that they liked with these things because the company's out of Deming, New Mexico, and they've been in business quite a while. And I, I do, I don't think I've heard anybody, you know, have the experience or not like the product the way I don't like the product. Um, I wouldn't put anything on my steering other than what the manufacturer recommended unless I had some major, major flaw in it. Uh, because as far as I'm concerned, somebody paid money to make the RV handle poorly. Anyway, that's my experience. Talk to you later.